everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Brad, and like most people, I've decided to build a plastic aeroplane in my garage and then fly it around with my family on board. <laughs> Sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? Well, to be honest, it's not really scary at all. And in this video, I'll try my best to explain why. So I've created this YouTube channel as a way to document my journey as I build an experimental light aircraft called the Cozy Mark IV, which was designed by a man named Nat Puffer, who you can see it here. Nat was inspired by the Long Easy style aircraft developed by aviation visionary Burt Rattan. If you've never heard of Burt Rattan before, or the Long Easy, there's a few links in the description where you can learn more and I encourage you to do so. For a bit of background on myself, I'm what Australia likes to call a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer, or LAMI for short, and I have over two decades of experience installing and maintaining the avionics systems of all kinds of aircraft, big and small, fixed and rotary wing, and I'm currently employed to support a fleet of EMS or rescue helicopters like the ones you're seeing now. I started flying almost 14 years ago, starting out in LSAs, and I've since owned this Cessna 172, and also this Piper Cherokee 180. I also actually started building an RV7 about 12 years ago, but after a while I realized that all the drilling, dimpling, skin pinning and flush rivering wasn't for me. So I sold the kit to someone else who must have been quite happy wearing earmuffs for the next few years. So far I've found the composite construction methods used on the Cozy to be much more pleasant and quieter than building the span cam types of aircraft. Now back to the Cozy. So the Cozy Mark IV is a four-seat, almost all-composite, canard-style aircraft in a pusher configuration, which means the engine and propeller are at the back of the aircraft and they push it forward through the air, rather than the much more common method of an engine and propeller at the front pulling the aircraft through the air. As you can see, the aircraft also doesn't have a tail like a normal aeroplane does, but instead has what's called a canard. It's the small wing at the front. The canard provides stability, control and also generates lift. I won't go into the weeds on canard aerodynamics in this video as there are plenty of those already online and I'll put a link or two in the description if you want to check them out. But what I will say is that the canard style configuration of a light aircraft is a very fast and efficient layout and is much better than that of a standard aeroplane with a tail in my opinion. The main reasons I chose the Cozy over all the other options out there were basically the stall proof characteristics, the speed and efficiency of the aircraft and the construction methods and materials used. As far as building the Cozy, it's definitely not a kit build aircraft. It's constructed by following a set of plans with detailed instructions on how to build each piece step by step. As you can see here, building a piece of the Cozy usually involves cutting and shaping a piece of foam, like PVC or extruded polystyrene, and then applying fiberglass layups to it using epoxy. This gives the finished part a surprising amount of strength and when the individual parts have joined together, the result is an extremely safe, strong aircraft. I'll be building the aircraft here at home, on the beautiful Capricorn Coast in Queensland, Australia. And then when everything is ready, it will be transported to the airport for final assembly and then flight testing. At this stage, I have no idea which engine I'll be using the aircraft or what avionics will be installed. The Cozy was designed to have a Lycoming O360 installed, but as these engines were originally released in the 1950s, I'm hoping I can go with something much more modern. And as far as avionics, all I really know is an autopilot is a must. I'm sure there'll be much more to talk about on all that at a later date, but at this stage, I'm just concentrating on building the airframe. This channel will document the entire journey, chapter by chapter, from the first layup to the first flight. I'll be sharing the build process, the challenges, the tools and techniques, and hopefully helping others who are curious or considering a similar path. So whether you're into aviation, home building aircraft, or just enjoy watching big projects come to life, I hope you'll follow along with me. There's a lot to learn and a lot of fun to be had. Thanks for watching and welcome aboard.